In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can push or upload a Django project to GitHub. So here again, this is our Django project and I am to upload this to GitHub. So for it, open your browser and I'm going to log into GitHub. So let me say uh, GitHub. We'll go to github.com. Let me just sign in. I'll give the password here for the GitHub. Click on sign in. And they can see finally where it up GitHub. So here okay, first of all, in order to upload the Django project to GitHub, we need to create a repository. So here just click on dashboard and then you will see a new option here. So click on new. And we need to eBay repository name. Let's say here Django underscore project. And there you can see this name is available. After that, we're going to make it public. And we'll also add a repository file. Then we we'll click on create repository. And a repository is created. So right now we're going to upload our Django project to this repository. So for it, what we need to do is that we need to go to our Django project. Uh, we need to go inside the Django project. And here we we'll just right click. And then we click on show more option. And here it ends up open key page here. So you will only see this option open git batch here when you download and install git. So uh, if you have to upload any project to github, you need to install git in your device. So let me just show you. If I just send your git and press enter, here you can see gitgcm.com. So you need to download this git from here. So I will give this link in the description. And here you can see download for Windows. You can just download it. Installation is super simple. You just need to click next, 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 and things. So once you install Git, it means you will also upload your Django project to the GitHub. So, so after going to your uh, Django project group is done, you just need to right click, click on show more option, and if you have Git installed, you will see this option called Git. Open Git Bash here. If you now click on it, you will see something like this. Let me just zoom in. So here we just need to set a few line of command which is git init so we are first of all initializing git in our project then we need to say we are git add a space then a dot then press enter so it will uh, check all the spine and after that we need to say here git commit minus n and we need to leave a message there you can leave any message over here and we need to write that message inside for double version so here we're going to say first upload then press enter so after that we need to say there git reward add origin and we need to make sure that github repository here and the repository is basically this one so for it uh, in order to add this repository uh, in this command we need to click on this or option then here you will see https and here you will see this copy option just click on it and it will be copied then you just need to paste it over here just click on paste and it will be paste over here there you can see so we need to say here git remote add everything this on then press enter after that if you want to check whether we are connected to the repository on what you can say here git remote minus v press enter and if you are connected to the repository properly then you will see something like this uh it will show you the repository name over here so we have to upload this project to the repository so right now again in async by default uh it is getting that master bar so we're going to say here git push minus u origin master then press enter and then guess it is uploading and there you go the upload is popping so right now if we just go to our browser and in the repository you will say master had vision recent pushes on this step and this is the thing that is there is nothing so right now uh, we just need to refresh here and if we now click on mail it will show us one more bunch for master we now click on it 
it will show us all the folder and files for general project so this is how you can upload your general project to kita repository i hope this was useful if you have any question or suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i will see you in the future tutorials